Hello and welcome to Frameline 43, the after party. He is the executive director for Frameline, Francis Wallace. Thank you so much for, for your time and for congratulations for this amazing party. Oh yeah, thanks very much. Thanks for, yeah, very excited to launch uh, the world's largest and longest running LGBTQ plus film festival, Frameline 43, absolutely. So what is different this year? Oh, I don't know. We just dug deeper and searched further for those queer films. And, you know, it's just a gem of a festival. You know, uh, yeah, it is just an incredible year, both on the US front, but the international front too. Then, he, you are one of the founders of Rameline. How is for you to, after years, see this amazing festival? Well, um, I've grown up with this festival and uh, I haven't been to all of them, but they're all pretty amazing. We never thought that it would become this epic. Uh, you worked with Harvey. Yeah, Harvey Milk. Yes, how yeah. was it? Yeah, um, it's amazing. You know, I it's uh, changed my life. Uh, when he was alive, it was fantastic. He was a lot of fun. And then after he died, it became sort of, um, my calling to continue his story. And I met him on a front runners a couple of years ago. Yes. Is you running? I am still running. Yeah. I do lead I lead the Sunday runs. <laughs> I should go back. So you should. Up. I know. You, so you joined the board member of Frameline last year? Yeah, I joined last November. Uh, last summer, or when last festival, it's the first time I bought a gold pass. And I really just loved the feeling I got watching all the movies. And I felt like I was on vacation. And it just, I want to do this again. And I want to be a part of this organization. It's... <laughs> So Gabrielle, she's uh, the director of one of the most interesting documentaries on the frame line. Tell me a little bit of your documentary. Sure, uh, this documentary is about uh, LGBTQ representation on scripted television and the amazing power of fans who have helped advocate for that representation over the decades. And it focuses mostly on queer female fans of TV shows like Xena, Buffy, uh, one Day at a Time, The L Word, uh, all the sort of fun fan favorites. Well, you're so young to be producing a movie. How was it? It was amazing. Working with these two are in incredible. Uh, Wes Taylor here directed the film, and Isaac Powell here starred in it. Uh, and they're a dream team, so my job was easy because of them. So Mia Burns is an actor, producer, singer, and go beyond with the, all those talents. Thank you so much. Yeah, I've been doing. A, I've been uh, performing as a musician my entire adult life, and more recently have gotten into film with a collective called Periwinkle Cinema. Um, whose principal is Lauren Murphy, uh, who directed uh, the short film slash video that we have in the Frameline program, which we're very excited about. I'm here with the Transfinet crew from the movie. So thank you so much. The director, producer, executive producer, actress. Tell me a little bit how it was for you to direct the movie. Oh, it gave me life. It literally made me live my entire life in two years, working with the most brilliant trans and gender non-conforming people of color. I ask a favor, trade place with her. Yeah. Now let's talk with you, because I love, okay. I love the hair. <laughs> <laughs> How is for you personally to be part of the movie? 
Um, it was so powerful to me because this was such a powerful project and my character I felt like was so powerful and it was a trans woman and I'm a trans woman playing a trans role and we need more of that in Hollywood. And I my name to be the first, the second, or the third, because I think it's so fancy. Well, you have to assume a title yeah, first and be royalty, I yes. Born again, again. Yes, yes. Or go to the imperial court, because they have a coronation every year. You can adopt me. There we go. Well, if we were in the market for adoption, but unfortunately we're not. At our advanced age, we're done raising children. I'm so happy to have my new guest right here, Mark Hustis, with a new brain book. And also, <laughs> I wrote this book. Okay, well, for to talk about the book, I want you to, to have you in the studio. Okay, sounds good. But I am doing an event to frame line with the book too on Sunday. Exactly, we're gonna be covering. Okay, great. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. We will talk about okay. this. I wanna really go deep on the book. Okay, good. But also, I want to talk to you about the. Uh, you are one of the founders for Frameline. I am one of the founders. We there was no such thing as Frameline. It was 1977. There was a group of nine gay filmmakers that were doing Super 8 films, and we all had our films developed at Harvey Milk's uh, camera store. And there was a little clerk there named Danny Nicoletta, who has since gone on to. He he took the picture of the stamp that now is the postage stamp. And so we'd come and we'd get our films developed and we would chit chat with Danny and we we're like, well, well, let's all get together and show our movies, you know? So, um, so we got together, showed our movies. It was called the Gay Film Festival Super 8 Shorts. It was free. It was done in a place called 32 Page Street. We thought there'd be 50 people and there were like 300 people. We had to turn away like 150 people. And then we did one like two months later back by popular demand. And so that evolved into Frameline. Uh -huh.